Hello again, everyone. Welcome to my channel, The Gentleman Reviewer. As always, please hit that like and subscribe button for me and continue to help me grow. I would greatly appreciate your support and uh, you'll get some little, you'll have it show up in your feed when uh, I post a new video, which I try to do at least once a week. I really shoot for two. So I usually jump back and forth between an ink on Wednesday and then whatever else I've got on Saturday. So this week, um, I like I said in one of my last reviews, I try not to do two brands in a row. Um, but this is exciting because I'm actually going to be giving away this bottle of ink after this review is posted. It'll go live the day that I post this video, which is a couple days from now. Um, and it will be going, I think I have it set up for a week and a half already. I'm not hundred percent sure because I'm, it's my first giveaway. So I'm still trying to use, I'm using raffle copter. So still trying to figure it out and make sure things run smoothly. If it's not running smoothly, then I'll just have to. I don't know. I'll figure something out. So I've already explored a bit of Blackstone's history in my last post where I reviewed their Barrier Reef Blue Ink. Great ink, by the way, if you want to check it out. Um, so I won't dive a lot into it here. But Blackstone is one of the only fountain pen ink producers in Australia. Basically, the founder was kind of upset with how much ink was costing in Australia. I know stuff tends to be a bit more expensive down there because if you ship it that far, it ups the cost quite a bit um but at the same time there weren't there wasn't really anyone producing ink in australia so he came up with blackstone um made a great ink i've enjoyed using it quite a bit and put it in a plastic bottle as compared to a glass bottle so this is polypropylene which is nearly indestructible and it's recyclable it's actually all the ingredients in this are vegan friendly as well so you can actually chuck this at a wall and it won't break i'm not going to try that because i don't want ink all over the place so let's dive into this so this one comes from the uh, colors of australia line which is inspired by iconic places and sayings in australia the black stump beyond the black stump is an imaginary point which the country was considered remote or uncivilized and came about as a result of early settlers using fire to clear land for grazing and farming that's a direct quote from blackstone so I'm not great with figuring out the cultural stuff in different places and I don't really want to try because I'd probably screw it up or say something ignorant and dumb, but that's coming straight from Blackstone. Um, so I guess it was a point that you could say, oh, beyond the black stump, this is going to be uncivilized. So for this review, I've used my trusty Pilot Metropolitan. Again, I use this because it's a pen that Almost everyone who uses fountain pens has in their collection or has had at one point or has used. So it's something that um, people can relate to um, and hopefully, you know, extrapolate from my review how your how the ink would perform in your pens. This one does have a fine nib, so it's very, very small. It's a Japanese fine. So one of the things that really bummed me out about this ink right off the bat was the last Blackstone ink I reviewed, which I actually have, if I could get it right here, sheened. You know, you can see that red around the corner. Um, some of the other inks in this line do as well. I think I have most of their inks in this line, but this one doesn't sheen. I was really hoping to be like black and red or something like that, and it just didn't pan out. Um, it, it was more of a true black, which is fine. I don't have a problem with it, but... Oh, sorry, it's not a true black, but it was more along the black spectrum. And it kind of bummed me out because I was really hoping there would be a sheen. I thought that'd be great if there was a sheen. But, you know, once I got over that, I really enjoyed using this ink. So one thing to note is it's quite a bit wetter than most fountain pen inks and quite a bit wetter than even Barrier Reef Blue. Um, so while it performed well on this paper, when I used it on the, the first day I got back to work and I used it on some cheap printer paper, it actually just ghosted right through everything and or not ghosted sorry it actually feathered like crazy let's see i've got i haven't tried it on this paper yet so i wonder if it will do poorly this is just a no name no brand uh yeah that feather is like crazy let me zoom in so you can see it and remember this is a japanese fine so it doesn't put down quite a lot of ink so that's feathering pretty quickly and pretty badly i'm not even going to try writing a word with that <clears throat> so 
beyond that, I mean, it was kind of, I couldn't use it as much as I would like to because, like I said, I fill out a lot of paperwork with people. Um, at my job, I don't do a lot. I make my job sound really boring and it's really not. Um, but one of the things I do a lot of is fill out some paperwork and I couldn't use it as much as I wanted to. So I was kind of bummed by that. I really try to use the ink as much as possible when I'm reviewing it. So beyond that, when I moved up to like my Jarbo journal, let me pull that out to wherever I am right now. Um, when I moved up to like this type of ink, you can see the Berry Reef Blue is ghosting through quite a bit, but the ink performed quite a bit better. No ghosting, or no, there's definitely ghosting, sorry. The, um, no feathering. I can't get my terms straight today. It's the morning and I just woke up not that long ago. I want to get this done while everyone's sleeping. Um, but you can see there's no ghosting. Um, sorry, I still said it wrong. No feathering is the word that I'm looking for. So it's performing well there. This also did well on things such as my IBAM, which I don't I don't think I have it with me. I think it's upstairs actually, and my Omega paper. As with pretty much all of the other inks, it did ghost through a bit. So if I were to put it right down here and then flip over, you can see that it's ghosting through. So it performs better on the mid-grade paper than it did on the cheaper paper. And I forgot to pull out my notebook stack. So that is my fault right now. And thank you for your patience while I grab it. For ink testing, I tend to use, I really only use my um, notebooks from Goulet Pens Company, which is their notebook sampler, so I can test a variety of papers. I also use my Loistrom journal just because that's one that people commonly have. So, Rodeo number 12, no problems. I did smear it a little bit at the end there on accident. And you can actually kind of, I don't know if it will really bring it out on camera. Let me try zooming in. You can kind of see the purple character of this ink that really came out a bit more on nicer papers. But... No problems there, and as with all the other inks, which you can't really see on camera, um, Black Stomp ghosted through. So I don't know if you can really see that on camera. Very slight. Nemesine B7, I think this one is. Yep. So did fine. No ghosting. No problem. Or no feathering. God, I can't get my terms right today. But definitely ghosting. Actually ghosted through pretty much everything except um tama river paper so my notes just froze oh no but apica did well um seems like there's some very very slight feathering but nothing nothing too bad that i can notice claire fontaine if i remember correctly since my notes like to freeze on me um this was the one that i think no, this one didn't feather. So I can't remember which one I said feathered since my, um, I know it was Claire Fontaine that it feathered very, very slightly. And it's the only one that's really noticeable. Um, and then as always ghosted through. So this one is a traveler's company notebook. Black stump, black stump did well. Rhodia, I don't use this one because it's the same paper that I use my swatch on. And last but not least, or one of the best, is Tomo River paper. I've actually really liked using the Tomo River paper. Um, the ink performed well. And it, there's very, very light ghosting for the inks, but not much at all. So, Tomo River paper, I think, wins. And I don't remember if I used the ink in my Loistrum. I did. So I have to turn it sideways because the journal is big and it knocks over my camera stand. But, performed well in the Loistrum. Let's see if there's ghosting. Oh, there's quite a bit of ghosting on all of them, actually. That's going to be fun to use when I get around to using this journal. So, alright, let's dive into how the ink performed. This is a Rhodia dot pad. This has 80 GSM paper on it and generally handles the inks that I put on it very, very well. 
So again, it's my ink review number eight, Black Stamp Pilot Metropolitan with a fine nib. So dry time was decent. I mean, between 10 and 15 seconds. 10, I don't know if you can see. Let me zoom in a little bit for you. 10, you can see that there was a very slight, slight smear at the end where I finished writing. 12 had the same performance. 15 didn't really seem to smear at all. So it's somewhere in that happy medium there. Um, on the smears, you can start to see some of the brownish and the purplish character that this ink has. That's what takes it away from being a true black, is those added colors as the ink evolves on different types of paper. When you get something that puts down a lot more ink, like my glass dip pen, it is a bit more on the black side of things. Um, and even then it didn't feather or really bleed through, I don't think. Nope, back of the paper, it definitely ghosted. But you can see that ink drop right there, and you can see some of my ink um, waves right there. But it's a bit more of the true black around here, you can see, I don't know if the camera, you can really see it, but you can see a bit of the purple and the brownish character as well. I just use a calligraphy pen. This one kind of sucked because the ink was so wet, so it really was just trying to fall off the pen, essentially. On the water drop test, I've started doing two things on my reviews. So up on the top, I will drop some water drops, and you can see where the water sat. Right there, 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 and I think I did four. Yep, right there. Um, the ink is almost nearly completely gone, and with this I just took a Q-tip and just got it wet and wiped it straight across, and it took almost everything off, and then I had to wipe it off with a paper towel, so it took even more. Lastly, we reach my swatch, where I just take a Q-tip and wave it through. So at the start, you can see it's a lot more black, goes to a bit of the brown side of the spectrum, and then pulls out some slight purple hues. So, the ink evolves in character as time goes and I really enjoy that because on different papers you're going to get different results and it's going to do different things which is great because the ink changes character but it kind of sucks at the same time because you don't really know what you're going to get um, on certain papers until you try. So overall I've really enjoyed using this ink. It performs well on all but the cheapest papers. Um, not waterproof at all. It's not advertised to be um, so that's not an issue. The dry time is fairly decent, and it's just a good black ink. So if you're looking for a good black ink to try out, don't want to go with like Waterman or Parker, the more standard ones, give Blackstone a shot. It's fairly cheap right now. Um, I think I got it for eight fifty for this size of bottle, which actually holds a good amount of ink. I forget how much is in here. I think it's... I'm not going to say anything because I don't know what it is. Um, but yeah, give them a shot. They're... They do some very good and unique inks. Some of their ones actually smell, too. Um, yeah, uh, follow the link below if you want to get involved in the giveaway. Um, you'll have to go through my blog post to use the Rafflecopter link. And uh, you'll have to follow this anyway to, for an extra entry. So subscribe to my channel. And uh, thanks again for watching. I greatly appreciate it.